Hey Bob, it's Barry. You were asking about backcountry skis, so I thought I'd kind of give you a better idea of how it works. These are one of my two pairs of backcountry skis. Uh, you can see these are really more powder skis. You can see how wide they are. They're about six or seven inches at the widest point. So these are really for powder, but they're also a uh, backcountry. And I'll show you the bindings in a second. Uh, here are the boots. I don't know if you can see this, but the soles, they have Vibram soles, like a hiking boot. Because sometimes you may be in a situation where you have to take your skis off and literally climb. So this gives you, you know, these are like climbing boots. Uh, so that's different. Uh, the bindings, as I said, well, I'll show you how they work. They hinge. So when you're walking, when you put the boot in, you can see once you're walking, you can just walk in it. Then when you get to the top, you lock it down and it becomes a regular ski. All right. These are the skins. These are what mine look like. So they're the length of a ski. Here's the bottom. So you can really only, they'll only go one direction. They won't go this way easily. They'll go this way, but not this way. And they're real sticky on the bottom. And they've got this mounting hardware at the front and back. And then I went ahead and put it on these skis. So you can see they kind of mount in the front. And then, you know, it'll only go one direction. It'll only go this way. It doesn't want to go this way. And then, like I said, you, you skin up. Come on. So you skin up the mountain. You get to the top. You lock your bindings in. You take off the skins and you go ski. All right, there you go. See you later.